I am joined by Joe from SnapTag. Thank you for being with us. Hello, Dan. SnapTag, tell us all about it. All I know is you're a Swedish company. What do you do? How did it come about? Tell me everything. SnapTag is a four-year-old company. Uh, it's been launched in the UK commercially for a year. And simply put, we activate the photographs that lie at the heart of the editorial page, and we turn those photographs into platforms for advertising, platforms for content. So we basically open up the middle of the digital page to brands and advertisers who normally sit around the sides of the digital page, and we're giving them access to their consumers in a totally new and different way. Where did the idea come from? The idea generated itself in Sweden with our founders who've worked across a varying degrees of different startups and spied an opportunity when they realised the trending growth in phot photographs and how much people were enjoying them, how much we now take photographs and put on Facebook and Instagram. And I think it was with the advent of Instagram as an app and everyone kind of went, oh, right, so photos, we like them. Now, I've got two kids, one's four and one's seven. They, all they do is love photo books, picture books. So it was obvious to me that we enjoy pictures and art and photos. For them, they've made a business out of the back of it. And you've seen the take up in the UK certainly? Yes, yeah, so we've got three offices of business. We're operative in the UK, in um, America and in Sweden, obviously Sweden. And what we're seeing is a, a gentle awakening of the marketplace to the value and the power of the format. Because the challenge is with a format that's so new, you have to educate people before you can enrol people to use the format. It's interesting you say new format because we've been hearing a lot about video, 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 mobile, mobile, video, the big video, V. But, but you guys are on image and photo, and you still think there's a real, a real market for that? Oh, totally, no, absolutely. Because if you think about the digital page, Dan, the photograph is the heart of the digital page, and often, if you look at popular titles, it's the photograph that leads the story. If you look at the last weekend that we had with the royal baby birth, nobody read any of the text around the royal baby birth. They probably read the announcement from Buckingham Palace that the, you know she was delivered of a baby at 8:34. But people were looking for the photograph. Everybody was waiting for the picture of her and her husband coming out of the hospital with the baby. They weren't waiting for the video of them coming out of the baby they sought the photograph um, so it's interesting I think there'll always be trends and vogues in media we're, we're certainly enjoying a hiatus and moment of that with our ads units we can pull video in with our ads units we can turn photographs into platforms for broadcast we can turn them into broadcast channels so you must get some amazing uh, tracking and analytics on the back of photos as well. So you must oh, be able yeah. to provide further data back to some of the publishers you work with. Absolutely. And it's big, you know, big data. We've heard the word big data this yeah. weekend a lot. Big data is everything. Um, we know an awful lot about the, the way the photographs are consumed. We know about how photographs trend. We know what the appetite is publisher side for photographs because that drives consumer appetite in the marketplace. And this is data that actually people don't have. So it's unique first party data that uh, comes about because of our proprietary technology. And it's an incredibly valuable place to be. Sounds like a really fun place to you be. You're getting excited. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love these new fun concepts. So we've already spoken about uh, video, big data, increased mobile. Where are we going? You know, SnapTag's clearly right at the heart of something exciting. Yep. In five, seven years, where are we going to be? What's the media industry going to look like and how SnapTag fitting into that? That's, I mean, that's a lot of questions in one there. So let's, let's split one. them out. Let's go for where SnapTag should be, I think. We should be um, a standard average line item on digital display campaigns. We should have a programmatic arm build out that allows us okay. to take what we do on a brand basis and, and make it more RTB make it applicable to, to more automated purchase opportunities, certainly something that's in the plan. I don't think we will see a dissipation of the appetite for photography. I just don't see it. I think Mary Meeker's annual report last year cited that I think since the dawn of time there's been a billion photographs taken and 70% of them were taken in the last year in terms of the growth of wow. photography. And I think that speaks to a lots of different things. There's a, there's a behavior now, a social behavior around photographs. We share pictures of each other. I think media's picked up on that. And it's not just social media that's picked up on it. I think above the line, traditional medias are following quickly. You look at the growth of photography on the digital page. I think if you take two articles and put them side by side and take 2008 and look at the digital page in 2008 around maybe an X Factor story, mm. Cheryl Cole coming out of a, a studio, your standard X Factor story. And and then fast forward six years to 2014. 2008, you'll probably see five or six pictures on the page. 2014, there's 30 pictures on the digital page. So over six years, you're seeing a massive hike in the use of photography. And I think that will continue to grow. So you're right in the sweet spot of where we're going. We are, we are. And it's lovely to be in a perfect storm like this. It doesn't always happen. And when it does, you know you're in it. And all we're seeing is market indications that we're in the right place. We've picked the right format we're in the right place on the digital page 
you're in the middle of it, front and centre, you're not in a bad position. And speaking of a perfect storm, have you enjoyed being at festival? I've loved it. I've loved it. And you guys have done a brilliant job. I think the agenda points that you've raised have been wonderful. And I honestly think that the candour and the level of honest communication between the keynote speakers has been brilliant. You know, um, what about you guys? Have you got your hit list? Who you've wanted to talk to? Who you found so far? Yeah, no, we had. Well, we kind of do. We have a hit list. I know we thought there were lots of people here. It would be lovely to try and get time in, and the emerge process has been brilliant for us because we've had access to people that we would not get access to, who are genuinely interested in learning from what we know, um, and that setup is fantastic. I think we've all enjoyed being able to have breakfast with. You know, I was sat next to Sarah Mansfield this morning um, from Unilever, and we had a, a lovely chat about all sorts of things and everything, and that was very very valuable. Good. Well, we're glad to have you. Thank you for your time. Not at all. Thank you, Dan.